Hey, what's happening, Leo? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. What's going on? I have a feeling that somebody out there is asking where this painting behind me came from, and I actually did this myself um, at one of those paint night events, and it was super fun. So I'm not incredibly talented or anything, but I can follow instructions. But anyway, guys, welcome to your Wealth and Abundance Tarot card reading, and this is going to be for July 2020. So I am using a combination of Gilded Tarot and Essential Tarot to do this read for you. So I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot, <clears throat> excuse me, as like the foundation cards and then I'll do any clarifying with the Essential Tarot. So guys, once again, welcome here and thank you for being present. Um, and I do hope you enjoy the read and I hope you have lots of fun while you're here. So anyway, let me just do this. I'm going to put Essential Tarot to the side and I feel like Gilded Tarot was like, hey, 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 you know, pick me, pick me, pick me. So I'm going to do this and let's have a look. Let's do a quick deck cut and see, Leo, what's going on. Queen of Wands. Uh, somebody gave me a <clears throat> kind of heck for quoting lyrics before, but I can't help myself because music is like this really integral part of my life and you'll see where I'm going here in just a second so we've got the queen of wands she's the queen of fire you know and right away I get this song in my head that you guys are on fire up in here I want to say it was either 50 cent or Lloyd Banks I can't quite remember right now but there's definitely some sort of life coming back into you guys and i'm really seeing how music could get you going could really fire you up if you guys have been in a bit of a slump or you know things are not going that great or you're just not feeling fired up it's time to get your fire back leo i mean you started off your reading here with the fire sign and this is like mama bear fire sign and she's like all right let's get a crack in leo it's time rise up we've been seeing your cards that have been like showing breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough so if you're sitting there going hey where kind of is mine robin you know you've been saying this for a long time um you know i had a wealth and abundance reading come in for you guys a while ago and it's happened twice now that said that you guys are going to be the first millionaire in your family so if you're getting a little bit frustrated with the cash flow not coming in the way that you want it to it's time to find your fire where are you leo are you just complacent you know it's time to <laughs> check yourself before you wreck yourself so okay anyway nice so we have the six of swords here like, there's only a couple swords cards that i pull and i go Whew, okay all right, and this is one of them, and this is a great one. So if you have been sort of, things are not going that wonderfully, or, you know, where is my big burst of money that the tarot cards have been promising me as a Leo? Everything's going to start to perk up for you very quickly. Um, we do have the Six of Swords here, so it does mean that you're sort of gliding into a new reality. It's kind of like... You know how they say that the grass is greener? You're headed towards that greener grass. So let's keep on pulling Gilded Tarot. Fantastic, fantastic card. You could be meeting somebody that is going to ignite that passion in you. It could be somebody that you're already in a relationship. You know, um, and I'm getting the words here, you guys, that things come in threes. So it's like you're definitely going to be sparked by somebody it could be the way that they look at you it could be something that they say um if you're single and you're just meeting somebody it could be like the moment that they touch your hand for the first time it's just going to light you up and it's going to like some of you are going to know exactly what you should do next and this is why there's so many power couples because the, their synergy it works where they both strive to be the best version of themselves. So you guys, I'm really seeing here that you're either going to be receiving some sort of 
energetic pulse from your current partner or you're gonna meet somebody that is going to cause the heavens to crack wide open for you. And you will understand what you need to do. And you're going to start to feel this fire once again as a Leo. And just, I can hear you guys being a little bit hard on yourself also. Um, for maybe, I don't know, I'm getting words like being lazy and that's your self-perception um, in a slump. And again, that's your self-perception. But what if you looked at it in the sense that you were recharging? Uh, what if you looked at it in the sense that you were biding your time while the universe aligned everything that you needed to have to be able to um, set the world on fire? What if you looked at it that way? instead of feeling useless that you were just starting to really unfold like you know is the word griffin you know how those that like a mystical character i feel like you guys i'm getting the vision from have you guys ever seen that movie beowulf where they poked the bear when um that character that Angelina Jolie played when her um, child was killed. If you haven't seen the movie, like definitely check it out because that's the moment that you guys need to see because there's this passivity for a long time. And then the moment that the, that the flint sparked, it changed everything. So let's pull a couple of essential tarot so here you guys have the world in your hands right now and you're just looking at which way to go you know the world is yours leo it's just the way that you choose to observe how you have been biding your time this past little while if it's been a couple days or a couple months or a couple years it doesn't matter you know you have to be able to rest yourself for the best of yourself to come out. It's okay to take downtime. You know, nobody can be on the field the entire game. Not even you. So we do have the Six of Cups here. So if you guys feel like you missed out on an opportunity um, from previous, like it's going to come back around opportunity is going to knock twice for you guys. And this could be what you're so down on that you, you just missed this. You could be kicking yourself, but don't worry. You were not ready for it. It doesn't matter. Everything that is meant for you is going to come back and it looks like it's going to come roaring in in July. I think really you guys truly Don't be hard on yourselves. You don't deserve it. How's that? Okay. So the way I clarified the cards out, I put the two of rods on the lovers on the lovers because this ignition is going to make you feel like you have the world in your hands. The world is in the palm of your hands. You're set out on your journey and you're going to understand that whatever step you take is a step in the right direction. Okay, so, and then I clarified the Six of Swords with the Six of Cups. So you are moving to somewhere where you can feel a little bit better. You know, it's going to be like the corset is going to be unlaced and you can breathe. You're like, oh, well, that's so much better. And that's going to allow this energy to come in from your childhood where you look at things in a different way. And it's going to allow any opportunity that you missed to revisit you. You know, you're going to be inspired in a different way once these things happen okay and then you have an angel number six six which is also very important and then the last thing i did was pull an essential tarot over the queen of fire so and then we got the ace of pentacles which is bringing in the gift of wealth and abundance from the universe and it is associated with your fire when you get your fire back, 
the avalanche of abundance will hit you. So do not disregard any chemistry that you have with somebody because it's going to be absolutely integral. And if you are not doing things like spending time in quiet with your partner or meditating together or bouncing ideas off of each other, um, I want to say you should start doing that, you know, at least in the short term until you can start to like really clarify what's going on, you know, so you can like two sets of intentions are definitely better than one. And that's what I was saying before about the power couples. When you have a combined intention, it multiplies your intention out to the universe at a higher rate of speed. So that means that things are going to come in a little bit faster. So it, you haven't been doing anything wrong, Leo. You've been waiting, whether impatiently or patiently, for divine and perfect timing, and then it's going to hit you. And then it's going to spark you. And you're going to move. And then that fire is just, it's going to just like, you know, I can hear it. I can hear like, Rah! like you guys are like picking up speed and, the, you know, the mane is flowing. You guys are just like, I'm really just feeling this for you. Can you feel this, Leo? Will you take this energy that the universe is offering you and move it forward so that you can be where you deserve to be the first millionaire in your family. And I just saw angel number 1155. That is definitely a message for you guys. So answer the call, you guys. Feel the spark. Feel ignited. And be excited. Be excited. All right, guys. Peace.